Um, going up against a guy like that over there, Omar Balo, every day in practice, kind of what kind of challenges does he present with his just sheer size? Yeah, I mean, Balo, just looking at him, obviously, big, physical, super strong. Um, really never played against a guy like that. You know, coming from the mid-major level, no one, no one is like Balo. Um, so having to guard him every day, honestly, is, couldn't be better for my game. How much it helps uh, just trying to guard him and then have him guard me. Um, it's great for my game. How have you seen, kind of outside of that, the acclimation process of getting to the Big Ten level of basketball? Yeah, I mean, I think, obviously, the main difference, I'd say, from mid-major to high-major basketball is size and athleticism. I mean, our team, just the guards, the bigs, everybody's bigger, more athletic. Um, so it's been a little different. It's taken some time to adjust, but I think um, our coaching staff, strength coach, Coach Cliff, have really done a great job helping me, you know, get in the swing of things. A lot of guys have mentioned the importance of Cliff Marshall this offseason. What has he meant to you individually and personally? I mean, he's, he's as good as it gets. I mean, his results speak for themselves uh, physically, but off, like off the court outside of the weight room, he couldn't be a better, like, just a guy to talk to, whether you need help mentally um, or whatever it may be, he's always there. Who else has maybe been helpful in your process to getting acclimated to Bloomington? Um, Gabe Cups for sure. We've hung out a ton um, off the court, and he's really helped me, you know, settle into Bloomington and, you know, just get used to it. Showed you here. around campus a little yeah. bit. What's kind of his favorite spot that he's showed you? Uh, we go to eat a lot. So we've got probably either Hive or Mother Bears. What's the, what's the order at Mother Bears? Well, I can't think of the name of the pizza, but it's a – buffalo chicken pizza i can't think of what it's called but has there with the team bonding stuff off the court talk about guys have talked about putt putt fishing stuff like that what's that experience been like just getting to grow closer with your teammates yeah it's been great i think that's been really big for us but one thing like i think we've bonded a ton outside of things like that has been like organized for like the staff um but i think we've done a great job of organizing stuff on our own um to hang out off the court to just build chemistry. I think that's been big for us. Has there been maybe a leader in the charge of organizing the group to hang out or just yeah, kind of? Yeah, probably uh, the returners. I'd say mainly Anthony and uh, Trey. What have they meant to you and the team really as a whole with so many newcomers this offseason to sixth-year guys? What what does their presence mean? I mean, they've really set, um, set the tone at practices, workouts, and then kind of shown through their actions like what the Indiana basketball standard is. And I think they've done a great job leading. What is that standard to you for Indiana basketball? I mean, at the end of the day, it's winning. Um, but, I mean, you get there through every day, hard work, focusing on what we're supposed to be doing, um, and then getting extra work outside of practice and lifts. The coming over, what was kind of the pitch that Coach Woodson and the staff used to bring you to Indiana? I mean, being from Indiana, it, it honestly didn't take a ton. Just that this is Indiana basketball and we want you, and that was enough for me. About 45 minutes from here, an hour is where you're A little up. over an hour, yeah. Were you growing up in that southern part of Indiana? Was there ever any like Indiana versus Louisville? Did you ever have any friends or any kind of rivalries like that? And going back and forth, Indiana and Louisville being so close. Yeah, no, definitely huge, huge basketball state, obviously. Um, but then kind of living on the border um, of Indiana and Kentucky, I've kind of grown up around mostly Indiana, Louisville, Kentucky fans. So I mean, there's been a lot of heated, heated debates over the years. So kind of going off of that. Growing up, being were you an Indiana basketball fan? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Do you so the history, the what it means to go out on Simon Scott Assembly floor? What does that mean to you? It means a ton. I mean, growing up, like you want to you want to run out there in those candy stripes. You know, you walk around Indiana, and you see little kids everywhere in the candy stripes. Uh, Assembly Hall just means a ton, I think, to the community, to the state, and you couldn't ask for anything better. You know, I'm a player. What will your first experience like? What will stick out to you? You think the most jogging out on the court the first time? Um, I think probably just seeing I'll have a ton of support from family and friends just since I'm so close. So I think that'll be really cool for them to get to experience it with me. Thank you.